So what is the Lumen Circles Dashboard? In this short how-to video, I will show you how to use the Circle Dashboard, your homepage for your virtual community of practice, and the activities you'll participate in as part of your Lumen Circles experience. Hello, I'm Trisha Nolfi, and I'm a facilitator with Lumen Circles. When you come into the Lumen platform, you will see the homepage for your circle, and you will see that there's two sets of navigation. On the left side of the page, you'll have some navigation items, and then at the top of the page as well. So let's go ahead and start with the top navigation. First, you're going to see this item for circle. When you select the arrow, you will see a list of circles that you are participating in, and you can select the correct one for that term. Next, you will see community. And this tab has a lot of different resources and ways for you to engage and learn more about Lumen Circles Fellows. So on this main page, you will see different communities that you can participate in, either related to your particular topic in your circle or other topics or even specific academic disciplines. The Partners tab will show you the educational systems, colleges and universities that Lumen Circles work with. Next to that, you will see the Fellows. And so this is going to list all the fellows that are participating in Lumen Circles. And as you know, working with the fellows are the facilitators. And it's going to list all the different facilitators that are working with Lumen Circles, and you have an opportunity to select their information to learn a little bit more about those facilitators. Next here on the end, you will see Discussions. And this is a great opportunity for you to further engage with other fellows in the Lumen Circles program. Here you will see different topics, again, related to discipline, um, also related to different circle topics or other discussions that Lumen Circle fellows have started. And you can go ahead and choose to participate in those throughout your fellowship. Next, as we go back up here, we will see the tab for the library. And as you know, the library is just a lot of rich information that can help you during your fellowship. So when you come to this main page, you will see featured items. It might be of exemplars and new resources that have been added. You'll see the listing for the tags, your evidence-based teaching practices, an overview for the skills, and then information on the methodology of the Lumen Circles experience. And so you can review all of those materials when you like to. Going back up to this top navigation, you will then see messages. If you have a message, you will see a highlighted item next to it, much like we see here in the community. This means that there is somebody that has tried to communicate with me. If you go ahead and select messages, you can go ahead and choose to communicate with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. You can do that by doing the ampersand and typing their name, and then you can start a conversation one-on-one -on -one with an individual fellow. Next, as we go up to the navigation bar, we'll see the data page. This takes you to your personal data page that's going to be reflective of all the tags that you have used throughout your time in the Lumen Circles experience. And then finally, on the end, you are going to find your personal profile page. So let's go back to the main page for our circle. And so when you get here, you'll see that on the left-hand navigation, we have several different items. So when you select current activity, that's going to take you to the particular week that you're in for the Lumen Circle. The arrow here will allow you to page ahead and allow you to page back. You will notice that on the weeks that you have uh, activities to do, such as teaching reflections or planning reflections, you're going to see a common outline. And when we begin our planning reflection activities, the page will have key sections for you to review. First, you're going to see the title and the focus for that particular week. Then here you're going to see a graphic. And this graphic is the roadmap for your weekly activities and gives you an idea of what items are due, when you need to respond to others, and give you an idea of what you should be expecting for the coming week. Underneath that, you are going to see then the learning outcomes for that particular week. And below that, you will see learning activities. And here you will see that it's going to link out to different resources you should review 
before you prepare your reflection or engage in a focused discussion for that particular week. As you scroll down, you're going to see how that learning is going to be assessed. And again, you might find additional links here for you to review. And then finally, you're going to see the area for reflect. So this is where you're going to start engaging in the particular work that you need to do for your circle. So when you're ready to start a reflection, you can select the reflect button. When you look at the right, you're going to see a timeline of activities that mirrors the timeline that you saw at the beginning of your page. So here's going to outline when you should be working on your personal reflection. It's going to identify those individuals that you need to collaborate with and when that collaboration should occur. If you want to take a break, you can choose to take a break by selecting this link. You may also look at all the reflections and the status of the reflections of your peers by looking at the boxes that are at the bottom of this page. When we go back to the left navigation, we're going to see that the next tab that you can look at is all activities. So during the fellowship, you'll explore topics that interest you, generate ideas for improving your teaching, and make small adjustments to shift your teaching in new directions, and all with the support of the peers in your circle. So together, these small ideas can lead to big changes. So as you see at the top of the page, the core of the fellowship is participating in the following activities, explore and connect, reflect and plan, preparing teaching reflections and meta reflections. As you scroll down, you are gonna see the calendar for the entire term. And so this outlines each of these learning activities for you. And I find this really helpful because it can help you manage your time as well as pace your learning experiences. As we go back up to the left navigation, the next item you're gonna see is the engagement policy. And so you should have reviewed and already agreed to the engagement policy by now. And what it does is it offers a detailed information about your participation and why timely completion of work is important to the whole Lumen Circles community. And you may want to revisit this policy during the term to ensure that you are meeting circle expectations. Here you can look and see outcomes again for your particular circle. And then next here, you're gonna see discussions. And so as you saw a moment ago, you can engage in discussions across circles and with other fellows in the program. But with this link, you can start a discussion on a specific topic with members of your circle. So how do you do that? At the top here, you'll see the button, start a discussion. You can come up with a title. And then you can write notes of what you're actually looking for. And then you can post your discussion. And then now members of your circle can reply and you can get more information about the topic that you're learning about. So as we go back to our home page, next here you're going to see this icon here. And what this is, is that this is a circle report of the data for your entire circle. So just much as you have at the top of the menu item, that we looked at before the data page for your personal use of tags, here you can actually go ahead and see it for the entire circle. Another way you can communicate is with the circle chat. And so the circle chat is a way for you just to start conversations with members of your circle. And it could be anything, it could be news, it could be updates, what have you. So again, you wanna go ahead and type somebody's name using the ampersand. So I wanna communicate with Tony publicly throughout our whole circles. And so I can go ahead and post a message to the entire circle. And that way others can actually join in my congratulations of Tony. So as we go back to the main page, 
we'll see that there are a list of individuals. So who are these individuals? As you can probably guess, they are members of your circle. And so when you see somebody with this purple badge, this means that they are the facilitator for that circle. You will also see other members of your circle and you can go ahead and select their name and look at their information. You can find out more about their ideas, their goals, a little bit about their background um, and see how they have been participating. So that is the brief overview of the Lumen Circles platform. And so if you ever have questions about the Lumen Circle platform, please contact your facilitator. You can also visit the Lumen Circles how-to video playlist on the Lumen YouTube channel. Finally, if you're experiencing technical difficulties, you can get help from the excellent Lumen support team by submitting a service request form or sending an email message to support at lumenlearning.com. And again, that information will always be on this first page of your circle. And here you can also find the button for submitting a request. I hope you have enjoyed this tour of the Lumen Circle platform.